The opposition's battle for what they call genuine electoral reforms has been on for about five years now. On several occasions, government has introduced its own reforms. The opposition and civil society are pushing to have their reforms implemented before 2021 general elections to level the ground. In early September, the shadow attorney general, MP Wilfred Niwagaba, came up with reforms intending to table them as a private member's bill but would not get a requisite certificate of financial implication. We have secured it by operation of law because the law we made is to the effect that if government does not respond and the time elapses, which time has elapsed? which elapsed on 20th November, then we are deemed to have obtained it by operation of law. What it means is that we are proceeding to have the bill printed and uh, presented for the second reading and forwarded to the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee for consideration. And as a committee, we are duty-bound to consult around um, for the country to generate their views. This new bill, however, will at some point be debated by the House made up of mostly members of the ruling NRM party. Let us wait for the debate and the eventual vote on the floor of the House and see whether their draft election amendment laws will see the day of light. Before coming up with that bill, we did wide consultation within the NRM majority. Yes. I think some NRM care about the country. Electoral reforms and violent free polls were among key issues discussed at the first public lecture held at Chambogo University in Kampala in an attempt to answer a question, are we ready? When we see violence again rearing its ugly head in our elections, all of us as Ugandans must rise up and say, not again. All of us as Ugandans. I want to give that assurance that the NRM, yes, mistakes may occur in the course of these activities, but I want to give the assurance that the NRM and the government do not condone bad behavior. The opposition and other actors also ask the chairperson of the Electoral Commission to create an allowance for citizens who turn 18 beyond the 11th of this month to vote in 2021, a request he said would need amending the law which is late. Edward Mhumza, NTV.